This is Dale here at the Genetic Solutions Tour in San Francisco. And this afternoon, we just heard from Dr. Sandra Cardoso from the National Institute of Respiratory Diseases in Mexico City. Sandra, thank you for a really interesting talk. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Can you share with us a little bit about what the talk we're, Well, we are very interested in looking at whether the gut microbiota composition, um, its effect on HIV infection, how does it contribute towards uh, HIV infection and HIV progression. So we are just classifying the gut microbiota composition uh, using 16S ribosomal RNA gene profiling, and we use the your 16S metagenomics kit to do so. Yes. The first work you were doing just V3, yes. the fusion primers on the PGM, is that yes, correct? Yes, that's correct. That's with the uh, uh, biggest cohort of mm -hmm. HIV-infected samples. Mm -hmm. yes. And then as far as the microbiota, you were able to get at a bacteroides family level or yes, phylum down, level. Down, mm -hmm. down to, with the V3 fusion primers, mm -hmm. down to family genus level. Yes, yes, that's correct. And then you took that work a little further using the 16S metagenomics kit, yeah. and that covered a lot more variable regions, right? Like seven yes. out of the nine regions? Yes, I believe that uh, the kit spans mm, seven out of the nine hypervariable regions. And it was able to get you a better level of species oh, yeah. identification. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, We were able to classify down to species levels. Mm -hmm. yes. And then as far as using the kit itself, it was really straightforward because yeah. it was yeah. just two tube PCR? Yeah, it's a two-day lab work, mm -hmm. a workflow, very easy, and Ion report a software for data analysis, also very easy to set up, and as far as my work was concerned, results were ready in a, a day, mm -hmm. a day or so, and the re results were ready. Yeah, so you had experience using a single V3 primer that's and correct. your own green genes analysis. That's right. And then you used a multiplexed sort of seven region with ion reporter. That's correct. How would you contrast the two or compare the two? Well, uh, I think they, they're they both very good, both methodologies. Um, I think that if you are brand new to 16S metagenomics, I definitely would use the kit because it has the added value of having the Iron Reporter software so you can do all your data analysis um, and don't struggle if you're not a bioinformatician with um, having to do your own analysis, starting from scratch, having to find which software you're going to use, installing it, etc. If you're not uh, an expert, it can be a bit difficult, so I definitely would recommend 16S Metagenomics Kit for first users because of the Iron Reporter software. And also in the lab, very, very easy in two days, and that's it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the further work that you, you plan to do in the future mentioned the effect of diet. Is that yes. because sort of uh, individuals who are infected with HIV change your diets or because they have a lot of sort of insult to their gastrointestinal tract? Or? Okay, no, not necessarily because they change their diet. Um, if you look at the factors that can change the microbiota, the gut microbiota, one of the most important factors is your diet, what you eat. So you have to take into account what our individuals with HIV were eating Very so that ability. yes so that you can also extrapolate and check whether what you are seeing the changes you are seeing are due to HIV infection or just confounding variable exactly yeah exactly. well thank you very much for oh, a very interesting you. talk thank you very much if you're interested in seeing more of what we're doing at the genetic solutions tour follow us at lifetechnologies.com forward slash behind the bench if you have any questions for Sandra please leave them in the comments